Back here at home, pressure is growing from Ukrainians demanding for the U.S. government to do more. Tomorrow afternoon, expect to see some crowds at the Lincoln Memorial for a rally supporting Ukraine. Organizers expect to call for more aid. Our Tom Dempsey is live from the National Mall. Tom, the message has changed since a similar event there last month. Yeah, hey Matthew, United Help Ukraine actually held a rally right here at the Lincoln Memorial just days before the Russian invasion began. Now, with this war bringing so much destruction and tragedy to Eastern Europe, United Help Ukraine hopes a rally being held here tomorrow brings an even bigger crowd and a bigger message. USA support Ukraine. Weeks after crowds of supporters waved Ukrainian flags and marched to the White House shortly before the Russian invasion, on Sunday, the United Help Ukraine group hopes a similar scene returns to the Lincoln Memorial. We believe that our government has in its power to provide Ukraine the right means to defend itself. February's gathering served as a way to show unity and voice concerns as a battle with Russia loomed. Stop Putin now! Now, members of Congress and other leaders expect to gather on Sunday, all to spread a new message. To take action, to pressure our government to doing a lot more for Ukraine, to give Ukraine the weapons it needs. Yaro Hetman has friends and family members back in Ukraine. With the last few weeks bringing war and devastation to his home, he says his fellow Ukrainians need assistance more than ever. The people in the southern city of Mariupol don't have weeks. They don't have days. They, they might have hours. This is a key uh, moment in time for the entire world to really change the course of history. Stop pointing now! Hetman now hopes that calls for help can be heard as fighting continues in Ukraine. At this point, our focus is really to help pressure our government to take action and to prevent even more um, death. <laughs> Worth noting, too, the official permit filed with the National Park Service anticipates up to 5,000 people out here tomorrow. Take note, too, if you're going to be driving in the district, because keep in mind that's going to mean even more cars here in the area, especially with the Cherry Blossom Festival also happening. Live at the Lincoln Memorial, I'm Tom Dempsey, WUSA 9. Tom, we know you'll be staying on top of that. Thank you.